Welcome to Eurobike, one of the biggest bike trade shows in the world. I'm on the hunt for the latest and greatest hot tech, but this show's in Germany and I've got a suspicion that they only show the best stuff to the locals. So I'm dressing like a native in order to blend in. Let's get to it. As mentioned yesterday, FSA have brought their new Wii group set, which is 12 speed. Now they tell me that this is gonna be available on OEM bikes from November, which is quite soon. And it looks very similar to the previous 11 speed group set to my eye. The front derailleur in particular looks uh, pretty similar, but you've got this nice crank arm that's, that's uh, all carbon with the K-Force uh, branding on it. The rear derailleur has had a slight redesign and is it looks very different to uh, a rear derailleur from the other uh, big manufacturers and it's very sort of slender looking. But it's mounted on to this concept bike, so this isn't actually a bike you can buy. We've got all the components nicely uh, arranged on the wall here so that you can see them. The cassette goes to 11.32 uh, as a maximum and this is an interesting comparison. So they're, they're aiming this at Jura Ace level, that's what, it, what it's said to be and the rear derailleur is set to weigh 240 grams. So to put that into context, uh, Shimano Dura Ace is just over 200 grams for their 12 speed rear derailleur and the new 105 Di2 is 302 grams for their rear derailleur. You're probably wondering what on earth are these crazy bikes behind me? Well they're called pod bikes and they're recumbent four-wheeled bicycles that are fully covered um, by this, well, this canopy which protects the rider from the elements. You might be wondering what are they for? Like, yeah, this is just crazy. Well, the inventors are wanting more people to commute by bike, but they recognize a big obstacle to that is that if the weather's really bad and it's raining or you can't carry as much stuff when you commute by bike, you might just take a car. And so, by covering the rider, you protect them from the elements and you've got some storage space to put your, your shopping or whatever you need to do. They reckon they've, they've solved it. It's still a prototype, but I'm going to have a go in one because I'm intrigued to see what it's like to, to ride in one. Oh. oh, this is crazy. I am actually feeling like I'm going to kill people. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is crazy. But the visibility in this canopy is amazing. And I've got little wing mirrors in there on the sides so I can look behind myself. And uh, I've even got a fan at the front that's blowing cold air and keeping me cool in this canopy. <laughs> Seller Italia has an unrivaled history and reputation for making performance saddles. They've been at it for over a hundred years. My favorite saddle, the SLR Boost on all my bikes so I'm delighted to see there's a couple of updates starting with this it's called the 3D Boost now it's got 3D printed uh, well sort of foam padding on the top we've seen 3D printed padding on saddles before but now Seller Italia is doing it and for good reason it's not a gimmick there is like big advantages to this so by 3D printing this foam, what they're able to do is tune the density of it while maintaining the same thickness and profile throughout. So you still maintain the exact shape of the saddle, which is crucial for comfort and performance. But it means that you can have softer padding at the front here because of the 3D printed structure inside internally can be tuned. Whereas at the back where you have your sit bones and you require firmer padding, it is firmer. You can see when I press it with my finger, it's harder to compress it there. And this is something that's really difficult to achieve with traditional, uh, just normal foams that have been used in the past and a big advantage for 3D printing. I also like that it's black because it's gonna look cleaner and be much better than a white one, which is, well, it's gonna look dirty very quickly. That's not all though, we've got this, which has actually been out uh, about a year now, but it's the first time I've seen it. It's the Techno Flow, the lightest version of the SLR boost they do. Stripped back, it's just very minimalist, just carbon. Looks beautiful and it's incredible. It's just 95 grams, an absolute hill climber's dream. I always love visiting the Topeak stand at these shows because they always have so many incredible gadgets and they've not disappointed this year. So I'm a big fan of their little ratchet sets. I've got one and I never leave the house without it. It's so useful, but they've updated them and made them even better. So you've got the Torque Rocket Mini, you've got the ratchet and roll sets as well. So these are really cool because they roll up 
into a pouch like that which you can then either put in your pocket or you could strap it to say your seat tube or just put it wherever you like but it's just really neat uh, storage solution you can see they've also even wrapped co2 cartridges onto them but what these have inside them is brilliant there's just so much functionality so at the core of it you have sort of a ratchet like this which has a built-in torque wrench and loads of different heads so you can adjust pretty much anything you need to on your bike at the side of the road and or when you travel in and you're going to get the torque right so you're not going to strip threads or you're not going to damage carbon components but then on top of that there's just pouches and little uh, cool gadgets built in all over the place so for example on this ratchet that's actually got a chain breaker in the end of it and then here you've got a co2 cartridge a plug insertion tool and room for your spare plugs as well it's incredible just how much functionality is just crammed into such a small and neat little package such useful tools i really love them time for the tour de france and team dsm scott has launched a completely new version of its foil aero bike this is the first time i've actually seen it uh, in the carbon looks absolutely incredible and absolutely rapid because of the changes to the uci rules the relaxing of those rules they've managed to take advantage of them and make more aerodynamic uh, tube shapes so it means that they can have a deeper fork that's thinner and also if you look at some of these tubes like this the seat stays here they're just like blades they're just so thin but other key details on it are you've got this really intriguing seat pin so scott reckons that this bike is now significantly more comfortable than the previous one and that's because this seat pin is in three sections it comes apart and this part's actually kind of like not sort of load bearing it's like an insert that then allows the seat pin to flex a lot more other design features on it are a completely new cockpit it looks similar to the one that's on the addict but this is a completely new one again taking advantage of those rules you can see this is just really deep and really thin super aero and then on the fork on the disc brake the previous foil had a, a really a nice design feature that I like which was like a sort of flap that came out to sort of sh shield the airflow over the front caliper but that's gone now they say they don't need it because they're mounting the caliper behind the fork blade detail I nearly missed but just noticed is this bike's also got the new Vittoria Corsa next tires on which apparently are Vittoria's new uh, performance road tire general use tire that's sort of designed to sort of compete and be in line more with the Continental GP5000 and they're tubeless as well and uh, well something I didn't mention is that tire clearance on the bikes actually up to 30 mil I've come outside the show for good reason because I've found Castelli and they've got this which is quite possibly the favorite thing I've found whilst I've been here in Germany so far it's called their BTW suit which some people think stands for by the way but I'm reliably informed it actually stands for balls to the wall something that Luke Rowe apparently came up with as the suit was developed with Team Ineos now before you start thinking balls to the wall it's bad it's not what you think so apparently the etymology of the phrase actually comes from fighter pilots uh, in the 1950s because when they were using uh, their throttle in their planes it actually had a ball on it and when they would push it forwards against the wall of the plane uh, they were going full throttle and risking their lives as their test sort of prototype aeroplanes might disintegrate at the speed of sound Anyhow, it's been used by Fabio Jakobsen and Mark Cavendish to win bike races this year and other quick step riders too. It's a one piece jersey and shorts with two pockets at the back, but it's got specially engineered fabrics on it. So the fabric on the sleeves here is said to be exceptionally fast. So much so that in a sprint, they estimate that it saves someone like Fabio Jakobsen two meters when he's going around 70 kilometers an hour over the competition. So huge, huge savings, such as the aerodynamic uh, effectiveness of this fabric and then also the fabric on the chest which is very similar to what they find on their skin suits i think more people should be wearing onesies i'm, I'm going to launch a, a one-man mission to get more people in onesies but what do you think about this in in the comment section let us know should be more people wear onesies i want to wear a onesie everyone loves fancy new bling shoes don't they and well dmt's got this incredible wall of just like just absolute shoe loveliness so they've got my ones that i've actually got these gray ones but do you know what i kind of wish i had these ones in white because same shoe but i just think the white just really pops it looks really nice 
New shoes they've got though are this, which is the SH10. It's replaced the SH1 um, and is an updated version with a revised heel cup design on the back, new boa dials and a new retention system which is designed to better secure your foot than the previous one. It's also got a different sole to the KR Zero. You'll notice this one um, has a lot more venting in it. Um, the shoe that's really caught my eye though is Pogaccia's shoe. I really want a pair of these. Look at these. This is the lace-up uh, KRSL, and I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that, proper cool. And also being lace-up, it's really light. It's, I mean, it weighs nothing. I could win the Tour de France if I had these. <laughs> Over on the DT Swiss stand, and I've got a cool quick bit of wheel tech for you. So this is one of the Lotto Sudal team bikes. In 2022, the team is now sponsored by DT Swiss Wheels. So it's the first time I've actually seen one uh, in person. It looks wicked. But the interesting thing here is that DT Swiss offers uh, different width wheels depending on the application and the surfaces. So normally the team would ride their Aero ARC wheels, which are slightly narrower um, and designed for a different uh, application. Whereas here, the bike is actually fitted with their ERC wheels, which are the endurance road wheels. They've got a slightly wider internal rim width of 22 millimeters, designed for slightly wider tires. And I'm told that the team specifically uses these wider wheels on rougher surfaces, so like Strada Bianchi gravel, or like they used them in Paris-Roubaix, in combination with these 30 millimeter wide Vittoria tires, which sit really nice on there. And they have uh, the airliners in as well for added puncture protection. I think it's really cool. Just enjoying a coffee over on the DT Swiss stand. How cool is this tamper? It's made from a DT Swiss hub. That's the coolest tamper I've ever seen. That's amazing. So much cool stuff like this at Eurobike. Uh, can I have a massive sausage, please? I've managed to get myself uh, an authentic German snack. But that's all I've got time for in this video. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at hot tech. And uh, well, stay tuned because we've got some gravel and adventure tech coming because there's loads of that here. Uh, I've seen some really amazing stuff. Let us know in the comments what your favorite things have been. Give this video a like and all the rest of it. And I'm going to um, enjoy my massive sausage. Wiedersehen. Ha, ha, ha.